happy Monday, you guys. Look at Amari running. That little boy, something else. Happy Monday, guys. It's Monday and it's late. It's already uh, Come on. seven. Come on, Amari. after seven. Maya's washing her hair, and Amari was helping her, but when he saw me turn the camera on, he don't have a shirt on. So he ran, but he runs anyways, you guys. I just got home from work about maybe an hour ago. No. What time is it, Maya? 7.05, so I got home around 6.30. I got home around 6.30. When I get off work, I have to pick up Maya from, um, stop playing have to pick up Maya from her school because she has to stay at the school that she's been going to because she's a senior and if we move her now, um, the school that she would go to is on the block schedule. So um, that would just mess things up. So we have to keep her where she's at for now. And then um, Amari starts his new school tomorrow. So he's all excited about that because it's a new school but he knows a lot of people there because Half the team goes to this school. That's sweet of you helping your sister do hair. Good job, son. Why are you being so silly? Come on. I can't, I'm not gonna be dealing with this kid. But anyways, you guys, I have not decided what's for dinner tonight. I just haven't. I haven't. <laughs> I don't know what it's gonna be. I didn't take nothing out and I have no idea of what to do. I have no idea. So actually they can figure that out. Ooh, I wonder if we can have like some chili cheese fries, but I don't know. Yes. Oh, we do have chili. We do have chili. I don't think we have cheese. That's the thing. Do we have cheese, Maya? We have a lot of we have cheese, but we don't have a lot of cheese. So I don't know how that's gonna work. Somebody would have to go to the store, which I need to go to the store because you guys, I've been, yeah, I, give you I haven't phone. been drinking um, water and I could just feel it. You know when you um, don't drink water, you can just feel like your bladder isn't healthy. I know that's probably TMI, but I'm sharing it anyways with you guys because that's just how I feel. So I have to start drinking more water and I have a tendency to not drink water if it's not out of a water bottle. For some reason, I have a hard time drinking water out of a cup. So, I think if I have water bottles, I'll be easier. It'll be easier for me to go and grab some out of the cabinet and just drink a water bottle. Today, I have on my scrubs, you guys. Got on my scrubs today. Um, I have a shirt under it because sometimes it's cold at my desk and um, yeah, just to be on the warmer side, I um, put on a long sleeve. Anyways, I was watching Family Feud as I was uploading this video, you guys. So I'm thinking like the, um, you know, our, my videos may be a little late because I don't know when I'll be able to like record because I'll be at work. So I have to figure out a good schedule to upload. But anyways, you guys, I was just um, sitting here doing this. Um, I just put that video up so you guys should be able to see that right now. And um, you know what? Somebody asked me in one of the comments about Michaela, like they didn't notice um, her being having a room here well there's a room for her just in case she decides to come back but i forgot to tell you guys that little girl moved out and she got her a little place with her friends so she's gone but i have a feeling like one day she may return so there's a room there just in case but that's why you guys haven't seen michaela um she she trying she she grown <laughs> <laughs> she got her own bill she working and doing all of that so you know that's where Michaela is so I only have these these two little ones here with me and uh, they've been a handful especially Amari you guys like he's just been 
He's been like acting very childish lately. I don't know what's going on with him. It's kind of like he's he's going back to five years old or something. I don't know, but he's been driving me crazy. As much as I love him, he's been driving me up the wall. So anyways, it feels good to not have practice. Would you, would you say? Don't bring what up. Why? You embarrassed? He don't. He don't want me to talk about the game. But anyways, the game, we're done with that. Practice is no more, so I don't have to come home and then rush to the park. Even though we're right up the street now, but it feels good to not have to go to practice. So yeah, I'm gonna figure out what's for dinner. I was watching Family Feud. And uh, I'm gonna give Babe a call because he's not here. He's gone for work already. So, yeah, that's what's going on. I had a good day at work. Let me turn this down because I don't know. I'm sorry, you guys, if it was super loud. But I had a good day at work. And um, I'm learning every day as I go in. It's something new to learn. I, this is like, this will make my third week. This will make my third week there. Yeah, my third Monday. So yeah, and uh, each day I'm learning a lot more. It's a whole lot to learn because I'm learning insurance. I'm learning a new system like for scheduling. Um, I have to learn the doctor schedules, what days they're in the offices because they go to different ones. So when making appointments, you have to kind of like know the doctor schedule so you'll know to make the right appointments with the right doctors at the right location, all that good stuff. Like it's a lot. So, um, but I enjoy it. Like I am really enjoying my job. Um, it's so much better than, um, did I tell you guys I was working at Sam's Club for like six days? I had got a job at Sam's Club. I worked there for six days and then they called me and I was like, peace out Sam's Club. I was like, I told I told my husband, I said, babe, I feel like a man. Like, they work you hard. Like, I was moving boxes, um, stocking shelves. I was, I had applied for the position to um, be like, you know, the, the front end clerk. Like, you checking the customers out and, um, you know, just getting all their stuff ring through. But you do that, but you also have to do a lot of other stuff like, in the mornings like you have to stock and help you know put stuff out on the shelves and i mean it was it was a lot i mean i did it and i didn't have a problem the hardest part about working at sam's club was doing the door at membership like people were so mean to me you guys i had to ask them for their membership card and they were like it was like i was asking them for a hundred dollars to get in the store like it was that serious but it is what it is. I no longer have to do that because God blessed me with a new job, a better job, and I'm so grateful. So, yeah, you guys didn't know that either, I don't think. Did I not tell you guys about Sam's Club? Probably not. It's been a long time since I really sat down and recorded something and told you guys about what was going on. But anyways, you guys, I gotta figure out what's for dinner no idea and I'm gonna call my husband and see what's going on with him he's on his way to Tennessee right now so um yeah I won't see him until this weekend but that's better than like two three weeks out so I'm happy about that too God is good like God has blessed us so much like baby's home the weekends I'm off the weekends I have a good job um we got our new home it's just like God is God is working. God has turned things around. Like, he's... Oh, just take a breath. But anyways, you guys, I don't want to get all sentimental and all of that. I love you guys so much. Um, so many people just reached out, prayed for us, sent us their love, blessings, words of encouragement. I say this all the time, but you guys have no idea. Like, literally, it means a lot. It means so much. Like, yesterday, I was trying to go through all the comments and... Um, you know, I wanted to respond to everybody, but I was so tired. So all I did yesterday was just 
hearted your comments just to acknowledge it and let you guys know like i see them i love them and i am so thankful anytime you guys just get a heart and if i don't get a chance to comment to everybody um just understand that i did see it i read every single comment that comes through and i try to respond if i can't i will uh, heart it so that you guys know like I felt it okay i got it i receive it and i love you guys for it so yeah but anyways you guys i gotta figure out what my kids is gonna eat for dinner so i'll be back i made it back home and i'm getting ready to start dinner matter of fact let me pause this i was just watching angie in wonderland's video um yeah but i went to the store to grab some cheese i got some green onions and um I had to get a few keys made for the house so that Amari could have his own key so when he leaves for school in the morning, he would be good. We have the garage door opener um, cold thing, but babe, he figured it out, but I'm not sure about that just yet, so I just got him a key anyway, just in case. You just never know because I won't be here to help him out if he gets stuck or locked outside of the house and needs to come back or if he even well, he would. He would. I just wanted him to have a key as well, just to be sure, sure. So, anyways, I bought a few bottles of Aquafina, and I bought the big one so that I can drink the whole thing up. And then I have another one that I'm going to be taking with me tomorrow. And I'm going to be drinking these big ones because I, I need a flush. I need a royal flush. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm not kidding. I'm not going to even say just kidding because that would be a lie if I said just kidding. So anywho, I am getting ready to make chili cheese fries. Like I said, that is like the simplest thing that I thought to make tonight. And um, literally I've been thinking about chicken and dumplings. That sounds like so good, especially for these cold nights that we've been having here in Georgia. Like that would be perfect. Last night, um, dinner came out really, really good. I made, um, the little store-bought uh, roast, and I was kind of skeptical about how that was going to turn out, but it was actually really, really good. And the mashed potatoes and the asparagus was absolutely delicious. Like, there was a time when I could not stand asparagus, but I think I just made it wrong. But since I've learned how to make it, it's so good. And what I do is, it's very simple. I turn the oven to 450, and I um, wash them off. I put them on like a cookie pan, sheet pan, whatever. And then I pour some olive oil over it. I sprinkle a good amount of salt over it. Um, not a whole, whole lot, but enough to season it really, really good. I put some minced garlic over it. And I also used um, um, red peppers, like the red pepper chips or red, red peppers. Let me see what this is. And I just kind of like rub it all together, like marinate it all together or so that it's all coated. They're all coated really, really good. And then I, um, where's my pepper flakes? That's what they are, pepper flakes, I believe. And then I bake them, these. Crushed red peppers, you guys, these make, mm, I love it. It gives it like a little a hint of spice if you like spice i do um, a little bit it just adds a little kick to it it's really good not hot but just a little kick so I, I put them in the oven for like um eight minutes and they are so so good you guys i can just eat asparagus and be happy so that's what we had last night and uh tonight is going to be something really really quick tomorrow i'm going to be meeting angie for dinner um I'm like literally five minutes away from her. I was watching her video tonight and it's crazy how we met and how far away we were when we met. Like we were literally in Las Vegas. That's over 2,000 miles away from here. Like almost 3,000 miles away. And now we're like five minutes within each other now. Like it's just crazy. So I'm gonna be meeting her tomorrow um for dinner uh, i think we're gonna go to did she say olive garden or applebee's or chili's i forget but anyways tomorrow's the day and it's good because mari doesn't have 
practice so that's perfect um no i'm gonna keep it at 7 30 because traffic getting over here is crazy that'll give me time to get get home get him situated and then go back out for a little while um what else if you guys don't know angie in wonderland go on over to her channel um and check her out it's angie in wonderland she does all kinds of stuff over there so go check her out and she's a huge disney fan so check angie out so anyways i'm gonna get to cooking these fries get them in this pan it's already eight o'clock you guys i told you guys i had to get keys right yeah i had to get some keys made for the house so i did that went to the store took my shower i'm gonna um make this dinner and i'm gonna call it a night very very shortly okay because getting up in the mornings is really hard especially not having to do that for almost two years so i'll be back after i'm done with this so i can show you guys what they look like once they're done Dinner is done, you guys. That was the quickest meal ever. It looks so, so good. I am about to dig in. I am gonna eat and then go to bed. Let's see how it tastes. See my grace. This looks good. And that's that good old hormel chili nothing. <laughs> nothing special about this chili, you guys. I should get a spoon. I mean a fork. But mm. Mm -hmm. it's really good. Uh -huh. mm. Family Q is still on, you guys. Mm. Really good. Quick, easy meal. Can't have, forget this. But you guys, I'm gonna end the vlog right here. It's like 8.35 and I'm gonna go watch TV. Try to edit this video so that I can stay up on my edits and getting the videos up for you guys. So I'm gonna see you guys in another video. Bye guys.